Welcome to Unity Mole VR, where we have incorporated the full APBS toolset. Here we have acetylcholinesterase from Torpedo Californica. At the moment we are showing the surface of the enzyme, and it is colored by the electrostatic surface potentials, where blue is positive, red is negative, and white is neutral. We are also showing the animated electrostatic field lines, where they start in the red and terminate in blue. Let's take a second to explore the outside of this enzyme and talk about how we arrived at this representation. We began by downloading the structure from the protein databank using PDB code 5EI5. We then ran that structure through PDB to PQR where we added hydrogens and did minor optimizations. We took the resulting PQR file and ran that through APBS where we calculated the electrostatic gradient. The output file from APBS is a DX file, which Unity Mole can then read to calculate and color the surface by the electrostatic potential, and also to calculate the electrostatic field lines. Here we can see the entrance of the catalytic gorge. Let's take a second and blow the structure up. When we do that, we can see that the electrostatic gradient is pouring from the inside of the enzyme out into the solvent. As we then rotate the structure, we can more clearly see the electrostatic gradient pouring from the end of the catalytic gorge out into the solvent. At the mouth of the catalytic gorge, we have tryptophan 279 and tyrosine 70. As we traverse down the catalytic gorge, we find tryptophan 84 and phenylalanine 330. Here we can see this giant pocket of space where the substrate will lie. So let's back out of the enzyme and grab our substrate, acetylcholine. Using our virtual world, we are now going to simultaneously manipulate our substrate through our enzyme and down the catalytic gorge. As the substrate reaches the terminus of the catalytic gorge, it's going to interact with what is known as the catalytic triad. Composing the catalytic triad are serine, histidine, and a glutamic acid. We can see that the substrate will be interacting more up here, where serine will bind the acetylcholine substrate at the acetyl group, thereby cleaving the bond, forming acetate and choline. Upon completion of hydrolysis, the reaction products will then traverse the catalytic gorge and be spit out back into the solvent. This has been a brief example of using Unity Mole VR with the APBS toolset as it applies to the analysis of enzymatic systems. Thank you.